Hey, welcome back. Well, one year ago, Andrew Deneau won a trip to the Army All-American High School football game, and he got to be a part of the student film crew. That's pretty cool in itself. The Boyne City senior took teacher Randy Calcaterra with him to San Antonio, and they came back with an idea to turn their high school sports studio show into live game broadcast, which is quite the undertaking. And the annual or the award-winning visual imaging class, they see no limits with this new adventure. It has since evolved into the Rambler Sports Network. And if you haven't seen it, well, Jeff Johnson has a lot to show you. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, go. And we are back live here at Rambler Sports Network. Where we're Not uh, sure many professional networks could do a better job than the Rambler Sports Network. An ISD class at Point City High School that started as a film class, then moved into a studio recap show about sports, and now broadcasts its high school games live on the web. It's a lot of fun, and I definitely recommend it to all the underclassmen to do it. Calc is a great person. He's a great teacher. He makes it fun for everybody. It's a lot of hard work, and I mean, you have to respect the process, is what Calc always says. And just respecting on what everybody does and how much time it takes to set up, and just knowing what like goes along with all of it. Even more special students run about 99% of it. This week I'm doing live text. Last week I did replay. Uh, color commentating. First time doing it, so I'm kind of nervous. I am doing replay. Student involvement is everything. There's a team of around, you know, anywhere between 12 and 15, 16 people to pull off what we do. For the most part, they're behind the scenes. They're running the switch, they're running graphics, they're running replays, they're running all the cameras. They're setting all the stuff up, they're striking all the stuff. The skill level that they have is unbelievable. You know, we, when I first started this, I was a little apprehensive thinking that it was going to be one camera on a tripod uh, following the action and doing a little voiceover. When I came and found out that there were three different cameras, a roving camera on the floor, a hero cam set up, a wide shot, and, and, and all these things, the elements were all there, which makes you feel like you're a part of ESPN. They started with basketball games last year and then moved football this season, did their first volleyball match this fall, and they've even broadcast a couple games on the road. Their break in the action is filled with commercials, some from the MHSAA and some of their famous This Is Sports Center parodies. Three times as great as five. Yes, that is correct. They update scores on the screen live, get plenty of shots from the fans, they display tweets from people all over the world watching the games, and even use that global audience to their advantage sometimes. We have a football player that's an exchange student from Germany, so um, my project was to go and pretty much do a uh, day in the life of the exchange student. We're going to show it on RSN on Friday um, so that his parents can watch it in Germany. They are always thinking about the next step, and this year it was adding a jumbotron of sorts underneath the scoreboard at football games, showing the live broadcast and, much to the dismay of any referee who misses a call, immediate replays. We actually had to talk to the kids about it, um, that you don't get caught up watching the game on the, on the jumbotron. Our kids handled it very well, and, and I think they got a kick out of it. And, um, I know the crowd did, I know the fans did, I know it's, a, it's really a, a special uh, experience for everybody. In Boyne City, Jeff Johnson, Northern Michigan sports leader. Wow, that's impressive stuff. Well, as Jeff mentioned in the story, you can watch their game broadcast live on the Boyne City Public Schools website when you click on the link. The password is RSN. We'll also have a link to this story on our website later tonight, and that'll be on 9and10news.com. And I tell you, I better be careful because those kids, they're going to be coming for my job pretty soon. Anyways.